So a few years ago, maybe a decade or so, this big coast redwood came down in a windstorm. Uh, I've got a bit of windfall here, but it crossed a road. So us humans had to saw it up so we could get our cars through. But this gives us a really interesting look at the vascular tissue of these trees and how they function. So um, starting first on the outside, we've got the bark layer here, this thick fibrous bark that is created by the phloem here. As it transports sugar down, it'll, it'll push out so the old walls of phloem become the bark. And then we have the xylem on the inside here, the sapwood. Uh, this little line here, this is uh, what draws water up from the roots. And then we've got the heartwood here, this kind of firm, darker part here. Um, the heartwood of these trees, like all members of the Cupressaceae family, are really resistant to rot and decay because they have a lot of vol volatile oils in them, notably thuyoplycin, which is what gives these trees that kind of fresh, aromatic, citrusy uh, smell to them. So that thuyoplycin prevents rot and fungi and bacteria and all sorts of things from, from destroying the heartwood of the tree, which is what makes them so strong and long-lived. But you can see here in the sapwood, the xylem, that it wasn't fully formed with all those volatile oils, so it's been able to be colonized by all these saprotrophic fungi here, um, a bit of mold here, but like, I I'm not exactly sure what species of fungi this is, um, because I'm not really that fun of a guy. <laughs> just kidding, that's a terrible pun. Um, no, because I'm just not from the area and I don't know what this is. Maybe a sulfur cap of some kind? I'll look it up and throw it into the description, but really cool because you can see how it's eating the sapwood, but not touching the outer bark or the heartwood here because of those oils. Pretty dang neat.